ok so let us begin our discussion with the foregut. let us say it is a foregut tube only and the foregut tube will give certain extensions like respiratory bud, hepatic bud, ventral pancreatic bud. This is dorsal pancreatic bud. As I said, this is a respiratory bud. Hepatic bud. ventral pancreatic bud and this is dorsal pancreatic bud. The dorsal pancreatic bud. The first thing is that gut tube is derived from the yolk sac and yolk sac is endodermal. So, remember one thing that anything which is derived from this entire thing is the foregut only, we are only talking about foregut. I said it is derived from the yolk sac and when you say the word yolk sac, you say endoderm. So, all these derivatives are also endodermal. Respiratory system, the lower respiratory system is endodermal. Pancrea is an endodermal, okay. hepatic bud, endodermal. But liver, I cannot say the entire liver is endodermal because we already talked about that liver is also derived from the source called as septum transversum. So, when you say liver, let me take the liver now from this. When you say liver, we have two sources for the liver. One was the hepatic, one is this hepatic bud and one was septum transversum, the septum transversum. Obviously, the one which is derived from the hepatic bud will be endodermal and from septo, uh, septum transversum will be mesodermal. Hepatic bud, uh, the septum transversum, what was it giving rise to? Septum transversum was giving rise to the liver parenchyma. Liver parenchyma. Including, including the hip, the hepatic sinusoids, and you can add Kupffer cells to this as well. The Kupffer cells to this as well. Hepatic bud on the other hand will give rise to the biliary apparatus. It will give rise to the biliary apparatus. I mean that is the gall bladder, the bile duct, the common bile duct, the cystic duct, even the bile canaliculi, all the entire biliary apparatus is by the hepatic bud. So guys, if the question is asked, let us say on the gall bladder or bile or the common bile duct or cystic duct, they are endodermal. Kupffer cells, hepatosinusoids uh, and parenchyma, the rest of the connective tissue and all of the liver, they are all mesodermal. They are coming from the undifferentiated lateral plate mesoderm that is septum transversum, that is for the liver. Let us take the development of pancreas separately. It is an important topic. We get a uh, lot of questions from the development of pancreas. So, let us take this pancreas separately. So, let me take this lower part of this uh, foregut and see how exactly the pancreas and pancreatic ducts are derived from. So, as I said, we will be taking the lower part. If this is the lower part of the foregut only, we are only taking the lower part and that is the ventral pancreatic bud 
and the dorsal pancreatic bud with their respective duct system with their respective duct system so if this is ventral pancreatic bud and there we have dorsal pancreatic bud with their duct system that is vpd ventral pancreatic duct and dpd that is dorsal pancreatic duct vpd and dpd the ventral pancreatic duct and dorsal pancreatic duct the first question is how this ventral and dorsal pancreatic bud will fuse with each other now one is in front and one is behind how will they meet they use the word called as axial rotation but guys when you even when you rotate i mean if you rotate the ventral the dorsal will also rotate like this so it's not exactly the axial rotation i mean the meaning of axial rotation is actually the differential growth one side of the wall will of the duodenum will grow faster and another will reduce in size so then we have this ventral pancreatic bud going around and coming to the dorsal so it's a differential growth the word is differential growth in the duodenum differential growth of duodenum will bring both these buds together so this is now dorsal here and below the dorsal that is the ventral ventral pancreatic bud dorsal pancreatic bud I'm sorry this is dorsal the dorsal pancreatic bud and ventral this is ventral pancreatic duct and the dorsal pancreatic duct the duct system of both the buds will anastomose with each other so we have this both the ducts will anastomose with each other and this is the one which will give rise to the major pancreatic duct so major pancreatic duct will be by this so if the question is about the main pancreatic duct your answer will be if it says main pancreatic duct or the duct of virsung then you can say what it is derived from it is derived from the ventral pancreatic duct and the distal part of the dorsal pancreatic duct ventral pancreatic and distal part of dorsal pancreatic ventral pancreatic duct and the distal part of dorsal pancreatic duct the question is on the minor pancreatic duct or the accessory pancreatic duct which will be by this one the accessory pancreatic duct or the duct of santorini is by the proximal part is by the proximal part of dpd dorsal pancreatic duct proximal part of the dorsal pancreatic duct main pancreatic duct is by the ventral pancreatic duct and the distal part of the dorsal pancreatic and accessory pancreatic duct that is santorini duct is by the proximal part this one the proximal part of the dpd what portion is formed by the ventral and dorsal pancreatic buds if i say ventral pancreatic bud the bud this will form the lower part of head or lower head 
and uncinate process lower head and uncinate process and dorsal pancreatic bud will form the rest like the upper head will form the upper head neck body and tail lower head and uncinate process the question is usually uh, pointed out on the uncinate process so uncinate process remember it is by the ventral pancreatic bud dorsal pancreatic bud to the upper head neck body and the tail of the pancreas what is the most common developmental anomaly of the pancreas if you saying the annular pancreas right now you are not saying it correct it is the pancreatic division most common developmental anomaly of pancreas is pancreatic division pancreatic division when when these two duct system will not anastomose with each other so we have a separate opening of the dorsal and a separate opening of the ventral pancreatic uh, this one duct and there is no anastomosis between the two that is called as pancreatic division and that's the most common developmental anomaly annular pancreas is the second most common so the most common is pancreatic division 